FDA endocrinologist says capping insulin prices is great, but it should have happened sooner. This comes after Eli Lilly decided to keep its insulin at, at or under $35 and after a lot of pressure from lawmakers. NBC 29's Kagan Hughes has reaction. Eli Lilly has capped the price of their insulin. A UVA endocrinologist says this is a game changer, but should have happened sooner. This is long overdue to put this sort of capping in place so that you know people can afford insulin when they need it. Millions of people rely on insulin, and the higher prices have left some desperate. Now that could change. People who are making decisions to buy food or pay rent would often ration their insulin, uh, which might be enough to sort of keep them alive, but definitely lead to long-term consequences from high blood sugar. So by capping it at $35 a month, hopefully people won't have to make that choice. Dr. Kirk is hoping other insulin brands will copy. That left out a large number of people who are uh, truly dependent on insulin as a life-saving medicine. So we hope that the other brands, uh, Nova Norvisk and Sanofi, will follow suit. The Eli Lilly cap is for those who are insured, but Lilly has created a program for those uninsured to apply for the same prices. In Charlottesville, Kagan Hughes, NBC 29 News.